This is Dave, fellow running guide. Welcome to another navigation task. Slightly different one this week, where what we've got to do is plan a route from A to B, but use different maps and then see if one map is more useful or easier to use than the other, if there are any advantages or disadvantages to each one. So the first map is the Harvey Superwalker 1 to 25,000 map of the Peak District, and I'm using this with a, a licensing agreement with Harvey's. Uh, and then we're going to look at the Orden Survey 1 to 25,000 of the same area. Uh, I'm going to use um, Anket mapping software to zoom in a little bit on these. So first of all, let's have a look at the Harvey map. Well, here we are. And we want to navigate from this little crag here at A, over to be stood on this boundary line here just underneath the, the crag at B. Um, and we're just about on the start of a little path here so we could take this big contour all the way round from here and then just drop down on this black path here and come in underneath. The trouble with that is it's quite a long way around, so we might want to take a more direct route. So let's have a look at our direct options. So could we aim from A, southeastwards down, through across these walls and down and pick up this path and right of way and then in there? Well, the problem is the walls. Now. An interesting thing or quite a useful thing about the Harvey maps is that the boundaries, I said walls, there might be boundaries, there might be fences, but in a lot of time, a lot of cases, they are actually walls, is that the Harvey maps differentiate between what are maintained walls and non-maintained or ruined walls. So in this case, we can see here that this is a, a black line, whereas here and here and here, this is a grey line. So grey being non-maintained, meaning that it's most likely that we can just step over or it's tumbled down in places. So that's not an obstruction to us getting down, whereas this black line is maintained. So we, it'd be harder to get over that. So we could go almost due east and drop over these two ruin walls and down this side of the stream into Crowden Clough and pick up this good path the black dash good path and then we could follow that all the way down and in and on this public right of way here and path as well so the put right of way and path share the same ground just into there and you can see the put right of way just zigs back on itself in through that wall and we stand underneath the crag there so that would work could we go down and pick up the pennine way well, we've got the ruined wall there and there, but when we get to here, the you can see just underneath the Pennine Way writing, there's a, a wall there and also all along there. So it may be that we get to this wall and this wall and this wall, and then we can't go any further because it would be clambering over. Um, maybe possibly into fields because we see we've got a farm here. If we wanted to use the Pennine Way, we, we'd have to go down southwestwards down this ridge, ruined wall, skirt round this wall, and pick it up here, which is a bit of a longer way of going round. Looking at the Harvey symbol for crag, you can see here that's a very, very distinctive crag symbol that we'd know. Should be able to see that in the landscape when uh, when we stood there. So those are our options with Harvey maps. If I change to the Orden Survey, let's have a comparison. So this is the Orden Survey one to twenty five thousand. Um, what we can't see on this map is that map that was on the Harveys that would take us up along this ridge and then in and do this long contour around um, and drop down this 
path here and in so it's a slightly different path that's shown compared to the Harveys. Notice these walls here on the Ordnance Survey it's black whether it's a ruined wall or a maintained wall so there's no knowing if we were headed due east when we got to that whether it would be quite a high wall that we had to climb over even though we are in access land which I'll come on to in a minute um, so we don't know whether this is crossable or not what we could do is cross over cross over down to Crowley Brook and in but notice on this map we've got another path this little black dotted line that it hits it contours around the hillside here probably just below um, 400 meters contours all the way around the top of the um, fields or non-access land and then we could go in that way so really useful thing on the Ordnance survey is this highlighter pen type wide orangey brown line this is the boundary of access land so we could drop down along there and then come along this path along the boundary of access land we'd know that we weren't able to even if these walls were crossable we wouldn't be able to cross this um, boundary to the south in the valley bottom and clamber over because these possibly fields are not in access land we could come down we could access the Penown way along here possibly but again we'd um, maybe have to cross a wall here we don't know if it's ruined or not we, we could come down as we said before in and access the access the access land here and along um, other things that we can think about on this journey is what we're we looking for and you see the symbol for the crag here and here is certainly less defined than on the Harvey map so on a Harvey map straight away at first glance you know that you're looking for um, a, a crag or a cliff whereas on the Ordnance Survey a little bit more subtle here and here so I'd say we've got advantages and disadvantages of each one um, really useful to be able to see access land and know whether or not we're legally allowed to climb over so we couldn't just head south eastwards and over this because this may be um, agricultural fields uh, and we wouldn't want to be climbing over gates and fences and uh, gates and walls into privately owned land that's not access land so the Ordnance Survey shows that it also shows this extra little path here but as I said before the Harvey's the really useful thing on it is showing which is um, which walls are maintained and which are ruined and gives a really good idea which will be easier to get across so let's just quickly go back to the Harvey map to let you have a, a look at that So back onto the Harveys there, no access land, we've still got the field systems um, and the fact that they're around farms might give us a clue that they are fields rather than just um, rough, rough ground but again the grey lines really useful. So no real right or wrong answer on that one, I'm just trying to point out that um, the map has each each map has its own pros and cons advantages and disadvantages some people prefer one over the other um, I think it's really useful to get used to using both so that you don't get caught out um, and it just makes your skill level a bit broader if you're comfortable with using, using both so that's it for this week thanks for watching and look out for next week's navigation task bye for now